Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, continuing the odyssey of moving my new, to me, ThinkPad T530 to MX15, or 16. So, I've if you watched the last video, I did the installation, I got the grub boot up, everything's going good. Uh, now I'm back here, I got the welcome screen up, and I'm going to walk through a little bit of how I set things up the first time. Uh, some people have asked me about that. Now, this machine does not require uh, the proprietary driver tools because it is a, it's an all-Intel machine. It does not require the Broadcom Manager because, again, it's an all-Intel machine. It uses Intel. I am going to run the Codex installer, uh, which you've seen, probably seen in other videos of mine because uh, it installs the DVD library. And that's really the only library I want, this one right here. Uh, it's the only one that I want. Um, the others I don't care so much about. Okay, so that's done. So that's pretty quick. That's real time. That's like uh, 15, 20 seconds. Right now, MX comes with Flash pre-installed, but if for some reason in the future uh, it, we have to ship without Flash installed, then uh, the Flash Manager can install that for you. I, I don't need it uh, right now because it, it is installed. It's going to show Pepper Flash. Actually, Pepper Flash and Adobe Flash are exactly the same these days. It's just that our Pepper Flash will work in both Firefox, Chromium, Firefox and Chromium. The Adobe Flash will only work in um, Firefox. So we we install this one. So if you happen you want to use Chromium, you can. It'll 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 still work. Okay. So now you know. I, it's installed right now, so you don't have to touch it if you don't want to. Uh, the main thing that I'm going to change though is uh see where is it here software it is in the package installer now i can't believe and i went back and looked i can't believe i haven't done a video on the mx package installer i've mentioned it a bunch of times but i haven't actually focused on it so mx package installer is really the first place you want to go to look for a popular app now you notice we called it popular apps on the welcome screen and there's a reason for that there's there's all sorts of popular stuff things that for the most part, are available in our regular repositories through Synaptic or AppGet or something like that. But not all of it. MX Package Installer is not just a pack and not just an installer from our repos. It can also install from re other source repos. For instance, Spotify here comes from the Spotify stable repo. MXPI here sets up the re repository definition, installs it. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's how we do some of these things here, like, uh, for instance, Google Chrome. Uh, Google Chrome is not in our repositories, despite what some people may believe. We do make it rather seamless from MX Package Installer, but if you go into Synaptic, you're not going to find it. You'll find it after it's installed, but you're not going to find it before it's installed because we enable the Chrome, the Google repository, and install it from there. We're not hosting it. Okay, uh, MXPy has got a nice little search utility. Say if you want a simple screen recorder, or there's simple games, simple screen. Oh yeah, because I got to scroll down. There it is, simple screen, uh, or OBS. There's OBS Studio. Okay, again, some of these packages are in our repos. Some of them are from outside sources. Uh, Dropbox is another good example. There are Dropbox packages in the in the repository, but the Dropbox tool. Here actually comes from Dropbox itself. Uh, it's somewhat more reliable that way we found. So a lot of tools come that VirtualBox installed from this utility is the same way. It comes direct from Oracle. So how I use this tool like right out of the gate to install my most common app. So I'm going to do that. So in browser I'm going to get Google Chrome. In development, I'm going to get my dev packaging tools in the Qt5 development because I need that stuff for the MX tool development. Uh, let's see here. Do 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 do. In graphics, I want uh, Pinta because I am not a very skillful GIMP or Adobe user, so Pinta is more my speed. I can make things happen in Pinta. I, I can barely operate GIMP. Okay, so that's good. I got that. I'm going to leave the kernels alone, but there's extra kernels in here if you want. I don't need languages because I'm speaking English, but if you do need any languages, uh, Thunderbird, Firefox, and LibreOffice are in here for most, for a lot of lang different language categories. Uh, let's see, media converters. I need Handbrake. Messaging. I need Skype. Uh, Google uh, VirtualBox. I want VirtualBox. 
network, I want Dropbox. And you can see I'm just checking all the ones that I want. I don't need anything out of Office. Printing, I've already done. Da, 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 da. I don't need this right now. Screencast, I've already installed Simple Screen Recorder, which is my preferred uh, screencaster because it works on the lower end hardware. I still have some trouble with OBS Studio even on this machine. Uh, the Windows videos I, I posted, um, some of the Windows, some of the videos from Windows that I posted earlier, I did with the Windows version of OBS Studio, and it was uh, it was okay. We'll be playing around with that some more soon. Uh, server, don't need that. Torrents, I got a torrent utility already. Utility, Snaps is in here now. That that's kind of cool. If you've never seen Snaps, uh, that's the uh, uh, you hit Alt Space Bar and a little thing pops up in the middle. And uh, if you got the Whisker menu. I find it less useful, but it, it's got some tricks that the Whisker menu doesn't have. I'm not going to install it right now. You just see, oops, I hit this wrong one. Utility, video. For video, I want Caden Live. OpenShot is in here if you want OpenShot. There's some DVD tools. And I'm going to hit install. And it's going to do its thing. Now, it will. It's going to app get update the repos a lot here because I've enabled a lot of different repos, a lot of different sources in that in all those selections I just made. Uh, there's at least a Dropbox repo, the Google Chrome repo, and the Oracle repo are going to get enabled and those apps are going to get installed. So it's got a lot of work to do. I think this is Google Chrome coming down now. So I am going to... This is really boring though. I don't expect any problems. It's going to take a little while because it is a lot of apps to bring down all at once. Uh, I'm going to let the video play, but I'm going to let it. Um, uh, I'm going to fast forward it so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, yeah, there goes Google Chrome being installed, and that gets most of my setup done right out of the gate. And you can see it's going to show you. Oh, look, there's some dependency problems, but no problem. Now there goes the app get fixed, so it's bringing down the dependency problems, the dependencies. So I'm going to let this thing play out, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now we're done. Process finished with success. So there are actually no error messages in here. I'm gonna say no so you can show what what did getting what did using MX package installer get me that going through the normal downloading the packages on my own what wouldn't. Number one, it, it's it's handy. It's here. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, I, I installed Skype. It downloads Skype direct from the Skype people, Microsoft, I guess, and uh, sets up the. This is a 62-bit, 64-bit uh, install. It sets up all the 32-bit stuff. Okay, great. Uh, Google Chrome gets the Google Chrome repository I mentioned. Dropbox. Yeah, actually, if you download the Dropbox uh, Deb direct and install it with dpackage or something like that, you'll actually find that it won't add the Dropbox repository. We add the Dropbox repository with this with, with MXPy uh, for that reason. Um, Oracle, same thing with Oracle VirtualBox. We add the repo and we also throw in the, um, it also downloads the uh, extension packs that allow things like USB 2 and 3 to work in VirtualBox. That is done automatically and you're added to the appropriate groups automatically. So there's a lot of things that MXPy does for you that you don't have to worry with. If your app's in here, it's usually the way to go to install it. So that's all my apps installed in MXPy. Tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.